Welcome back to Top Cricket Academy's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at doing some fast bowling drills and we're delighted to be joined by current Kent and former Surrey Stars player Grace Gibbs. We're going to be going through some basic drills, looking at what she would do to prepare for a match, also looking at some basic alignment drills amongst other things, finish off with some full length bowling at the end. Excellent. So, in the first drill we've done today, we looked at how you prepare to bowl, getting yourself ready to bowl the ball in a game, or also for training. I think, would you say you keep the same preparation for training as well as the yeah. game? Yeah, definitely. Excellent, because otherwise you want to keep it consistent, don't you? Yeah. For your body to prepare it for the best way. For me, there's three key principles of fast bowling, and actually bowling in general. And they are rhythm, energy, and control. I believe in the simplest format, if you've got all three of those, then you'll be able to deliver the best delivery as consistently as possible. In this drill, we're going to be looking at energy. Probably going to have two parts to this one. So, very simply, I want you to optimise your energy you're using by using all of your, the most energy when you go through the crease and in your follow-through. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people, especially youngsters, they watch TV and they see all these bowlers running in 100 mile an hour up there and they think all the energy's in the run-up. Yeah. Actually, the most energy we should be using is when we release the ball through the crease. Yeah. Okay? So all we're going to do, very simple drill, I'm going to get my mitt and go and stand down that end. You're just going to start off here, just in front of the cones. Again, you can use cones, you can use any alternative, like hurdles maybe. Yeah. And you're just going to take a simple step, so do one step, jump, bowl, and just follow him through to be natural. Okay? First one, I'm not going to put any cones down for the follow through. As we progress, I'll start putting cones down and challenging you to use more energy. Yeah. Okay? Nice, brilliant. Excellent use of energy. Good. So, that's fantastic. Okay? Really impressed with the way you transferred your energy over those cones and how you kept it going towards the target. Going to do two, make two little changes now. Okay? First thing, going to put the cones down, like I said before, to create a challenge for you to try and follow through. Yeah. Based off of how you were following through then, I would say probably look to place them just off this end white marker. Yeah. Because we're not using a great deal of energy from our, our bow in action. Oh, sorry, from our run up, we haven't got a run up. So when you're following through, I want you to still be travelling at a similar pace when you go through these cones. Yeah. Okay. Second thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take the stumps out of the equation. I'm going to move them to the side. The reason we take the stumps away is because they're a stimulus or a cue that subconsciously when you're bowling, you focus on the stumps. And actually what we're looking at is not about the control. We're not looking at this moment in where the ball lands and pitches. All we're focused on is making sure you optimise your energy through your delivery stride and into the ball when you're bowling. So I'm going to move the stumps to the side, so it's a simple target for you, just running and focus on trying to feel the energy when you bowl. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Excellent. So, how do you find that challenge of getting to those blue cones for the follow through? Yeah, I think, it, I think they could, if we wanted to challenge myself more, they could come further because I felt sort of I was at my, would you say, like fastest in your follow through, my most powerful yeah. as I came through the cones and then sort of started to ease up once I was past them. Fantastic. So, so we may look to move them forward quite significantly then yeah. to make sure that challenge is higher. Another thing we can look to do is if we're trying to create a channel, we might make the follow through a bit smaller. Yeah. Okay. Just because we're trying not to lose energy. Now, for me, the next stage of this bowling, because you've done really well there, fantastic. What you do nicely is you transfer your weight beautifully and you bowl with great energy through straight lines. One thing I notice in kids, which we'll talk about in the next video, is about losing their weight slightly in their run up and in their action. Okay. So we're going to look to move on to that in the next video. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Well done. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. Really appreciate the support. If you'd be able to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a video whenever we upload.